dwarf planets, Pluto, Charon, Ceres, and Aries, by Nancy Lowen, illustrated by Jeff Yesh. Learning about space. We learn something new about space every day. Today, spacecraft travel millions of miles from Earth. They send back information about planets, moons, and other bodies in space. Telescopes put pictures of these faraway objects right before our eyes. Computers help scientists keep track of the reports that come in every day. What is a major planet? A short time ago, scientists found a number of planet-like bodies at the edge of our solar system. They decided that a new definition of a planet was needed. Without one, the solar system might end up with thousands of planets. A new definition was written in 2006. It said, a major planet is a body that orbits the sun, or another star. It must be round. It must have cleared all objects, such as other planets and asteroids, out of its path. The dwarf planets. Scientists also created a new group called dwarf planets. Like a planet, a dwarf planet circles around the sun. It has a round shape, but it hasn't cleared the, the neighborhood around its orbit. Pluto used to be listed as a, the smallest and farthest planet from the Sun. It is now called a dwarf planet. Because of Pluto's small size, its gravity isn't strong enough to push other objects out of its path. Scientists named three other dwarf planets as well. They are called Ceres, Charon, and Aries. The list of dwarf planets is likely to grow as more of the outer solar system is explored. Pluto, a lucky find. Pluto was discovered in 1930. At that time, scientists were looking for an unknown planet. They believed that it was pushing Neptune onto a different path. Their data led them to Pluto. Scientists were thrilled to discover Pluto. But they soon realized that Pluto was too small to sway Neptune. The search for Planet X a planet capable of pushing Neptune continued for years. Finally, in 1989, scientists gained a better understanding of Neptune's orbit from studying the motions of spacecraft sent to the outer solar system. They no longer believed there was a planet X. A long, cold day and year. Pluto spins slowly on its axis. A day is the amount of time a planet takes to spin on its axis one time. On Pluto, a day lasts nearly 154 hours. A year is the amount of time a planet takes to orbit once around the sun. One year on Pluto takes 248 Earth years. Temperatures at Pluto's surface are thought to be minus 365 degrees Fahrenheit. That makes Pluto one of the coldest objects in the solar system. Charon, a double dwarf planet. Pluto has three moons. Two of them are tiny. They are called Nix and Hydra. The other moon is called Charon. It is much larger than the others. Charon and Pluto circle around each other, locked together by gravity. They always keep the same face or side towards each other. Some scientists call Pluto and Charon double dwarf planets. Ceres, no longer just an asteroid. Ceres was discovered in 1801. It was the first object to be discovered in the asteroid belt. This region lies between Mars and Jupiter. There are millions of asteroids in the asteroid belt. Most of them are probably less than a mile wide and appear in many odd shapes. Ceres is different. It has a round shape. It's big. In 2006, scientists decided to call it a dwarf planet. Aries, the largest dwarf planet. Found in 2005, Aries is the most recently discovered dwarf planet. It is also the most distant object found so far in the solar system. 
At the farthest point in its orbit, it is almost 10 billion miles away from the sun. It takes Aries 557 Earth years to complete its orbit. Aries is just a little larger than Pluto. It is the largest of the dwarf planets. It has at least one small mood called dysomnia. Pluto, Charon, Ceres, and Aries are the first objects to be called dwarf planets, but many other bodies may someday be put into that group. Keep reading the news.